The Red Worm has defeated me once before. With more experience, and more importantly, some new schematics from the Dark Aether, let's jump in game and see if I can defeat the Red Worm once and for all. Now before you pop all of your amazing loot gearing up for the Red Worm boss fight, the first thing and the most important thing you're going to want to do is check the tack map to make sure you've got a good spawn. For example, this spawn here is quite a bit of a distance away from the location we're going to need to fight it, which means there's less time to fight it, which means I don't want this type of spawn. I want this spawn to be a little bit closer. So we're just going to patiently wait about a minute or two and then an exfil will pop up close by, hopefully, and we can exfil out of here. And of course, not waste all of our good loot on this run. As unfortunate as it is to kind of kill this amount of time, you want a good spawn so you get a good amount of time, especially if you find yourself doing this solo. And don't worry about losing your containment level. As long as you successfully exfil, it should be all right. All right, game number two, let's take a look. And you know what? That's not too bad, honestly. There's only four locations of the worm. There's like one in each corner, and it's always denoted by these two two ammo caches right next to each other. So that distance, that's not that bad. So let's go ahead and pop all of our great stuff. Got a legendary ether tool, flawless, golden armor, and the new mag of holding here. You might be wondering why I'm using a mag of holding as well as the large magazines on these uh, stingers here. Well, I believe you get more reserve ammo if you put on the larger magazine. So even when uh, even when doing the mags of holding, it helps you out. Now to get the red worm successfully spawned in, there are four different buildings around the corners of the map that have these pictures, which have four different locations, which will have four different USBs that you use at the site to spawn in the red worm. It'll make sense, trust me. So these are all locations around the map. And believe it or not, I think I recognize each of these without even having to look them up. That's the tier two bank right there. Those are the tier two apartments right there. This is the tier one little thing over here. And this is the tier three area right there in that parking lot. So now all we got to do is go get them. And luckily we're right next to a portal. So we're going to use that. I just need to look up the portal coordinates and uh, let's go here. All right. Up top here, we are in a great position just to jump on down and get this first USB. Aha, here we go. We get this little UAV v tower type thing and we start activating it there's number one. Oh, also important if you have game chat you can say i'll be doing the red worm this game if anyone wants to join getting the usbs now now believe it or not if you are nervous about the red worm that is a very important step not only asking people hey do you guys want to do the red worm but also branching out and going hey i'm doing the usbs people are getting keen on the fact that the red worm really isn't that bad especially in a party so if you just let everybody know hey i'll be doing the red worm people are more than likely going to help you out i don't i'm an idiot i don't even need to go on top of that at all okay it's just right here in the center of this little hall here all right there's charlie so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head on over to the tier three area because we're so set up this tier three area shouldn't be that big of an issue and i'm using an operator that has a containment level of over 100 which means i get a ton of points and a discount on perks so hopefully i should be able to get most of the perks i want to from this quick revive i'll get tombstone and look at that that's all of the perks I haven't even done a contract yet. And we've got this tier three UAV tower, which gets us the next USB, Delta. Awesome. Ooh, there's just a juggernaut just sitting there in a chest we're gonna take. And believe it or not, just from right here, we're really close, only 500 meters away from that last USB. Just gonna take one of these redeploy things. And in a matter of moments, we are right next to this UAV tower. And just like that, we have USB Alpha. And that is all of the USBs that we need to get this party started. So at this point you could say, got all the USBs, meet you at the fight. And then you can say fight will be in I-6 or I-5 or whatever the coordinates say right here. Perfect. It sounds like we got a couple people this game, which is a lot better than our first time around with this. But our work is not done yet. Even though we've got tons of people coming in and seeming like, oh, hey, yeah, I'd love to join you. They might all bail out at the last minute. Sometimes people say, hey, that sounds great. And then just never show up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start getting some contracts done, rack up some points so that we can get 
self revives and sentry guns. Those are the two most that guy that just this almost crushed me. That was almost game over right there. <laughs> now self revives are pretty obvious, but sentry guns are great for the red worm boss fight for dealing damage to the red worm as well as all of the zombies that spawn in around you. So from here, take a deep breath, relax. You've got basically 90% of your setup all done and you don't need to worry about anything else except, you know, the entire fight. <laughs> Two people are pleading for help over there. Let them know I'll revive them after my contract if no one else does. You might be thinking to yourself, Donuts, don't you want like Casimir's and Etherblade and... If you want to, yes, but personally, I prefer decoys and thermites for this worm boss fight. You see, when the worm actually goes underground and you throw a thermite on the ground, he will actually think that's you and try to attack the thermite, and then he will pop up, leaving you safe. And then decoys are great for distracting zombies, and they just replenish at the ammo stations, which you're going to be hitting quite a bit, so you can kind of spam decoys. Oh, we got a double points at the end of this contract. How lucky is that? That's going to give us double the amount of points for this contract. So we should get Get close to like 7,000 points for this contract here. What are we at now? 3,000? Cool. And just like that, wow, that got us like 8,000 points. It's crazy. All right, what did we get? Oh, yes, we got the first self revive of the game. A lot of people saying that's not working for them lately. Every game I've done it, I've gotten that free self revive. So I don't know what to tell you. And it looks like somebody else uh, revived those guys, which is pretty cool. And uh, I guess that gets us two self revives. So all I'm going to do is going to drop this armor plate and then go buy myself a sentry gun. I guess I can drop the juggernaut too. So I'll go get two sentry guns. That hurts to drop that juggernaut though. All right. Well, this actually looks like a decent rucksack here. Maybe you might want to pop your dog bone a little bit early, get another sentry gun. I've heard people buying sentry guns and then what they do is they take a vehicle like a car or something that's a little bit easier to maneuver. They'll take their good stuff like their self revives and stuff and they'll put it. Well, that's a bad example, but they'll put it on the car or in the car and then they'll drive the car to the uh, worm boss fight. So that way they have even more than an inventory's worth of stuff. And perhaps I used a little bit too powerful things because now we've got 20 minutes to kill. Now I very well could go into tier three or meet up with some of those people who were like, yeah, I want to fight the worm. But there's a little known thing about the worm that makes it a little bit easier to take out. The worm's health and the worm's difficulty, from what I understand, it relies on how many people put in the USBs. If you have four people putting in USBs, then it will be a lot harder than just one person putting in the USBs. Because the game thinks, hey, only one person is doing the worm boss fight, let's make the worm a little bit easier. I don't know how accurate that is, but that's what I've been told, and I'm not taking any risks. So here's what the boss arenas look like. You've got two ammo caches really close to one another, and you've got four of these um, seismic refractors all in a circle here. Now this is what we're going to put our USBs in, but as you can see, it requires an active ether storm. And that's why we look at the ether storm because the ether storm is gonna to need to expand all the way to over here to overcome these guys before we can even put in our USBs. And because you're in the ether storm, I'm gonna highly request you almost need a durable gas mask. But durable gas masks are only like 4,000 points in a tier three buy station. So it's not that big of a deal. Now here's the class that I'm using. It's the traditional WSP swarms here because I need to get them Zircon scalified. I built them a little bit different than I normally do. I built them with a little bit more range in mind. I don't know if it's going to make that big of a difference, but we're trying it out. If you are taking on this worm solo, it is almost a necessity to have golden armor. You take so much damage and you don't have that many inventory slots. Obviously, if you're taking it on solo, you need four inventory slots just for these uh, USBs. So having golden armor, like I said, almost a necessity. Hey, there's Zircon scale. Let's go. Looks like we got our first teammate over here and it looks like he's got Boreal Alice already. Very nice. But we still got three minutes just to sit here and do nothing. Getting down to the last 45 seconds here, I've only got one guy close by. This guy's going on an exfil. These guys, I mean, none of them look like they're approaching this site right now. So I'm kind of getting nervous. Everybody said, hey, yeah, let's do the red worm, but I might be doing this solo. All right, all right, all right. We got this guy. This guy's back. All right. <laughs> now, when the ether storm comes and, uh, and encapsulates this, you're going to get pretty disoriented. So what I always do I always ping one of these ammo crates. That way I know where the boss usually is and I can kind of see where I'm 
trying to circle around. It's getting closer. The last time I attempted this, I failed absolutely miserably at the last moment. So hopefully we can redeem ourselves here. All right, looks like it's just the two of us. No one else is on their way. So this is finally encapsulated. Let's go ahead and do this guy. There's one of them. We've got Charlie going online, Delta active, and finally we've got Alpha. Now after that, it takes a little bit for the worm to spawn in so you can chill out for maybe 30 more seconds and of course you can always set down your sentry guns now which i am definitely going to do try to split them apart too so they can kind of cover each other re-equip my juggernaut and i'm gonna pop my dog bone here and you know what you know what i'm gonna do i'm going to uh invite players to my squad here what a dog name barkley bow wow that's that's really funny all right all right here it is oh no i hope he doesn't kill my dog right away just from that let's see if he does there we go let's go let's get it all right oh dude this uh this teammate's got a uh got a lock wood oh dude look how much much look how much we're killing him already this is great try to make sure we put somebody else in front of him he's aggravated towards me so i'm gonna try to move around the best i can let my teammate do the work here oh oh good he's going after i think he's going after my dog actually this is why i want to decoys here you see all these zombies through little decoy here so that way they are not on top of me all right we're getting about halfway on our durable gas mask that's about how you know you need a little bit more all right also i'm gonna throw decoy refill up on this i'm gonna throw a thermite on the ground here and that is gonna trigger him to go to the thermite hopefully oh there he goes and right for the thermite perfect that is awesome otherwise he'll like attack you he'll like uh he'll try to chomp you from the ground here and all you got to do is you just gotta if you ever get eaten you just gotta spam your jump button and you should be okay here oh sliding back okay cool hey we got we got uh, two more people just came by this is awesome i'm telling you all right let's throw another thing here these guys are dealing some good damage here gonna throw a decoy oh there we go of course you gotta watch out for that um that laser attack if your shields are down if your ar shields if your armor's down that's a one hit kill for you that's all right we've got two more selfs and that should be fine in fact what i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw a decoy and i'm gonna uh, invite players to my squad here all right he's down again we're gonna use this time good we got a squad mate i'm gonna throw down a couple of these uh thermites here gonna go for this uh ammo cache there we go got some new squad mates that way if we go down we're not like screwed out of anything we're gonna throw another this i'm gonna pop my field upgrade too that's gonna take care of a lot of those enemies here i know this uh these mimics or these bosses are taking quite a bit that's all right we've got a full squad here let's do this and of course those orbs you really gotta oh boy all right all right we need an ammo he's actually on the ammo refill i gotta go back to this one make sure we don't lose our gas mask here kill those orbs when you can they're super easy and you can see he's firing out more the more people that are here but you could just kind of they take you they take two shots to like take out they're really not that difficult got about halfway here we've got quite a bit of time left i'm not super worried and the more people People that are here the more distracted he gets which is awesome so we're gonna try to get this uh ammo refresh we're gonna throw a decoy here we're gonna throw a thermite on the ground so hopefully he can take over that oh perfect oh he see he just ate a teammate right there now that guy's gotta spam the parachute button otherwise he's gonna die just like that oh i got electrocuted from the storm dang it we're gonna throw a decoy here we're gonna get a refill on our ammo throw another decoy so that we can heal these guys there you go the the mags of holding awesome super super awesome like we not being not needing to reload is just sick awesome we got that weak spot he's going down again oh look at how close he is to dying oh this is awesome and we're super close i need some more ammo 21 seconds he's near the ammo i've got to make it i've got to make it let's throw one of these guys get a refill on this let's throw a decoy so we can revive our teammates Ooh, nice nice little chomp there we're so close to getting him come on we're so close we're so close oh teammate down come on let's do it let's do it oh laser attack boom see you gotta have it armor for that and you'll survive it but there we go doing the final blow here there we go super super great oh look at that he dropped a whole bunch of stuff i'm gonna take this i think that was a flawless ah oh, the other guy got it that's fine he drops a bunch of goodies but the real reason you want to fight him is within this reward rift here we've got a legendary ether tool now of course i already have it so i'm gonna do the thing where i offer it up to people and of course you gotta have the ggs in there see that wasn't so difficult at all we have redeemed ourselves between the gold 
golden armor allowing you to refill your armor automatically and the mag of holding allowing you to just shoot indefinitely and never reload, it allows you to focus in on the boss fight and it makes it a little bit easier. It's still pretty difficult as you saw, but it gives you just a little bit more of an edge. It takes away one thing that you have to manage. Of course, to get the mag of holding, you're either going to need the schematic or you're going to need to go into the new dark ether here in season two in order to get one of these items. And if you need to do either of those things, be sure you watch this video first. Check it out here and stay beautiful.